Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture. So I was inspired by the recent full moon to create some fun dimensional lettering using my gold play brushes, but what I thought would be fun to do is rather than sampling them with gold, um, I thought it'd be fun to sample them with some pearlescent images to create some really fun pearlescent effects that would go really good with this full moon sort of motif. And I really liked that combination of gold and the pearlescence together to create these really fun dimensional letterings. And it's really easy to do, even if you're not a lettering artist like myself. So I'm gonna show you all my little tips and tricks. And then also um, I use some of my layer styles, my pearlescent layer styles to just create that moon motif. So it's like a lot of fun. And I really liked playing with the, the neutral sort of background, just something a little bit different for the full moon. So I'm going to go through my time lapse and talk about what I did to create this artwork and hopefully it'll help you in your own projects. Okay, so I only started recording after I already had this idea for those pearlescent and gold um, letters. And what I'm doing right now is taking my gold play brushes and I was playing around with rather than sampling the gold, I was sampling these um, this pearl palette that I created for my wet paint mixer brushes. And it was really fun to kind of see that mix of pearl and gold together. And so now I'm just doing like experimenting and I was playing around with how should I do this background and using my multicolor brushes. But here I was experimenting with my pearl celestial gold mine layer styles. And what I decided is I really liked that neutral background. It really kind of made things stand out. And now here I was wanting to obviously get the kind of moon motif. So I definitely used those pearl layer styles from the celestial gold mine. I thought those were perfect to go along with the moon. And here you can see some of my process again, just playing with the brushes, experimenting, um, mainly the gold play brushes. And now I'm ready to like do my layout. So first thing that I do is because I'm not a lettering artist, I am, Putting, I type it out in a font, and this one I believe is Bundt Cake, which is a really nice one for some lettering. And that gives me a guide, and then I also put my own guides over it, kind of how I want the tails to go. And now I'm like trying to decide my main stroke and playing with the different brushes and loading them. And here I got this, um, it's like a dry, shiny brush from the gold play collection and I've loaded it up with the pearl. And so I just, you know, this is my, pro this is the process. It's not just, you know, um, I just pick a brush and everything looks perfect. You know, I'm just playing with it, seeing what goes good. And then of course I have to like, sometimes I have to redraw it a bunch of times cause it's not right. So I've got the full out and adding a little dimension, you know, I was playing with the drop shadow, but I turned that off for now. And again, with the moon. So we've got those beautiful kind of pearlescent base, which I thought was really fun. And now I'm adding a little bit of gold behind it using the same brush. It's like dry, shiny, two, three, whatever. And just loading it with the classic gold. But, um, and you know, if I don't like how the gold looks, I'll sample another section of my gold palette. And I'm not worried about any kind of perfect perspective. I just want some gold peeking out behind the, the letters and just playing around with that. I just want it to look cool. Now I notice that I have moon on the same, I want them on separate layers. So I separate those and continue to add those gold accents, which is really fun. I think it looks so luxurious. And then what am I doing? Let's see here. So now I'm adding a little bit of dimension. So I'm adding a little bit of layer styles, like some drop shadow and maybe even, I think I just added drop shadow to be fair. And now I want that moon behind. So I obviously I'm using the pearl celestial gold mine layer style, but what I was doing now is playing around with um, the marble brushes um, to kind of apply that. But where I was stump where I was kind of struggling here was I needed some contrast and stuff. So if it's just totally behind the the word full, it's like not enough contrast. So I was really kind of struggling with how do I want to um, you know make that work 
maybe you just kind of have some gradation and you know you just need those those still those elements of contrast so i was just trying to figure it out right now and so i thought about playing with like the small moon and then i just decided to forget it for right now and then just kind of like layer up those lettering so i'm taking gold play brushes and experimenting with um which you know brushes that i wanted to use for more accents and so I've got one of the brushes um, right now. I can't tell you off the off the bat, but I'll um, see if I can link it below. But it's one of the gold pie brushes with the gold, um, the dry decorative ones. And then now I'm taking one of the gold play brushes that, um, but I'm loading them with the pearl, so it's giving it that real dimension and everything. So I was looking at the ones that I had over there, and here I took like one of the little dotty brushes and I loaded it with the pearls using the wet paint mixer brush technique and um, and I liked that I thought that was kind of cool so I went with that and always to add a little extra dimension I'm adding a little bit of drop shadow and then I still also want some extra gold so I was playing around with you know like which where I wanted to add some gold and I ended up adding some little highlights with that dry decorative brush number seven. And I thought that was really cool. In my, when I first made my little sketch of kind of the idea, I played with like blending some of them, but I think using the blender brushes, but I don't think I did that in the final. And then here I was getting back to it. I'm happy with my lettering. It looks quite dimensional, but I wasn't feeling like there's enough contrast with the moon. And here is even another thing that I, a little detour, creative detour, is I thought about playing with some stars in the background. And I was like, oh, this is looking kind of cool. But in the end, I just felt like it was not right. So, you know, there's a lot of trial and error. And I'm like, oh, maybe I should add some gold on the side um, or some pearl. But I just felt like the letters were, you know, the strength. So I kind of wanted to... Play around with that but I'm, I was struggling in my explorations to uh, figure out how I wanted to develop some contrast you know so even I went back to play with like some blue backgrounds and I was like oh my gosh maybe I'll have like sapphire in the background and then I was playing with the marble brushes and you know just kind of adding that but I still like wasn't in love with it and I just felt like it was getting very um what do you call it very crowded on the um around the, the word full and i still wasn't happy with it and here even i went oh my gosh i went really off piste and did some explorations of like putting the moon over on like duplicating that kind of having this like the moon you know phases or whatever did not like that and let's see here hopefully we'll get through some, back to the regular pro programming but I like this kind of new format because it's like, um, you know, I kind of want to give you guys some ideas. And of course, if you need more, um, if you, you know, this is going a bit fast for you, of course, if you're new to my brushes, go check out for each pro product that I'm um, mentioning and I'm using, I have a playlist already. So I go over everything in detail there, but on my, um, what do you call it? On my uh, videos, I am not um, going to always give you every step by step. So, because I, I want to just give you more ideas, whatever. And okay, it's back to work here. There was a little pause here. So again, I was going on this this thing, and it was getting really, I don't know, I was not loving it. I did like the stars around the lettering, and then I just felt like, yeah, no, I'm not loving it. You know, this went through a lot of different incarnations for sure. So I'm just trying to let the video go and then we'll, we'll see what I was doing. But again, I was, I thought maybe I would play with that moon phases, but rather than duplicate it, kind of um, use a circle selection and then just add some, but then I really didn't like it. And then, so again, I'm like, okay, I'm annoyed with that. So let's go back to the lettering. And so in this case, I put some the clipping mask over the pearl, the pearl of the full moon, and I wanted to add more gold to it so it's more golden. And I was using like the dry, shiny brush. So it just, you know, I think it was the same brush from before. 
but I thought maybe if those letters were more gold, then it would contrast with like the moon. So there I added some little um, also gold play brushes um, using the mixer brush technique and then those little gold dots added some more, um, what do you call it, some more dimension. And then I also added the pearls um, on the, well the pearls on the bottom were already there. Here again, more experimenting. I was like totally playing around, loading up some of those gold play with the pearls again, just deciding if I'm like wanting to add some swirls in the background. I was feeling pretty cool with things like how this was, but again, I'm still on that um, blue background. Now I'm playing around with some drop shadows. And that's funny, my video is like, just made a little noise. Um, and yeah, so again, I kind of went back to the background after fiddling around with my lettering for a bit. And I'm just saying, like, at this point, I was like, oh, like, sometimes I get really lost in it. And I, but then again, I was really liking the original light neutral background. I really liked that interplay between the light neutral background and the gold and the white lettering. Something different from full moon, because, you know, you kind of always think of like, the dark blue of the, um, what do you call it? The dark blue of, you know, space or whatever. So here is another thing that I did, which is I grabbed this moon image to make a moon selection. And I, that was from another tutorial. Finally, I didn't like that. Um, but you know, of course, sometimes you have to think like from other tutorials, you can get some ideas, you can use some resources, because I remembered, oh, I, hey, I had a moon image in that one. Maybe I'll take that moon image, make a selection, and, you know, play around with that. Again, still, I was trying to get some contrast between that moon background and the lettering here. So I was just kind of fussing with that and how do I want dark in the background? And here's where I really felt like I, I was getting somewhere is when I had that gradient from the top to the bottom with the slightly dark and then have the moon fade. And I felt like that really gave it a bit of um, contrast that I was needing and adding more drop shadow behind the word full. That felt fresh to me. And again, I was just playing with some ideas and changing those little stars to um, light, you know, rather than being gold. I added, played way around with stars in the background, but finally, I think I ended up cutting those because I'll have to check. I actually don't remember what it looks, <laughs> what it looked like at the end. Um, but I just was like, yeah, I had to kind of use my editing eye. And here I was kind of playing a little bit with some galaxy brushes just to add a little bit of um, in the background. And actually that worked out and I kept some of that just to add a little bit of softness um, in the background. And then what else did I do? Okay, we're getting close to the end here. I'm looks like I'm loading up into a mixer brush some pearl, but, and I was playing around with doing something in the background of the moon, but that didn't work out. So let's see what we do here. Yeah, so I was playing around with putting some wet strokes in the moon all around. Didn't work, didn't love it. And I think that is where we ended up. Let me just see what we got. Okay, yeah, so I did keep the little stars in the background. And yeah, I like it. It's not, it's not too much and it's something a little bit different. So, you know, sometimes you just got to play around with it and my processes are not always linear so I thought I would just um, give you guys some ideas with this and also show you a little bit behind the scenes of how I work and it's so sometimes you know of course I'm like you know um, not that great of a drawer I get stuck all the time I get into something and I have a vision in my head and then I can't make it happen so sometimes when I'm doing that I'm um, like with the background, I was happy with the lettering, but the background I couldn't get right. And sometimes it just means leaving that for a second, going back to the lettering 
and then kind of coming back again. And in fact, I did do this in like two or three parts because I a couple times I just dropped it. I was annoyed. And so then I came back to it and I like how it turned out. So I will link all the products that I used down below so you can check it out. And please just let me know what you think of this new format. Rather than just doing all the time live streams, I thought I would do some more quick things. Now this is a little bit um, on the longer side of the quick things, but just to kind of work you guys through some of my workflow. So let me know what you think about this style of video down below in the comments and make sure that you're subscribed and I will see you on the next tutorial.